Hello everyone and welcome to the channel Salesforce FAQs and today in this video we are going to learn about the lead conversion reports in Salesforce. So this report is going to help you to track your leads that are converted into the opportunities or contacts and that is going to give you the critical data for optimizing your sales strategies and if you are new to our channel then please do subscribe and hit the bell icon so that whenever we upload a new video you will get a notification. So let's move ahead and see what is actually the lead conversion and how we can create a report on it so first of all what is a lead conversion report so this lead conversion report shows that the leads that have been converted into contacts accounts and opportunities and it allows us to measure the effectiveness of our lead management process and with that we can better analyze the process of lead conversion so in this video i am going to cover the two reports that is based on lead conversion the first report will be regarding the lead conversion report in which uh, we will create a report on a detailed information about the leads that have been converted into accounts contacts and opportunities and uh, second one will be the lead conversion rate report so there is a slight difference between the lead conversion report and the lead conversion rate report so where in the lead conversion report we will get those leads that are being converted whereas the lead conversion rate report measures the percentage of lead that have been converted over a specific period of time so this report is used to track the efficiency of sales team in converting lead into customers or opportunities and the purpose of this lead conversion rate report is assessing the effectiveness of lead management strategies and based on it you can identify the area of improvement in the sales processes and uh, you can also set the performance benchmarks for the sales teams like you can show this is the lead conversion rate report in this quarter and and according to that you can set target for the next quarter that that this should be the lead conversion rate for this quarter so now i will navigate to my salesforce developer console there i will show you how you can create both of these reports so let's move ahead and see the process so as of now i logged into my salesforce developer console and from here we will navigate to the reports tab and for navigating on the reports tab we have two options that either you can navigate from the app launcher or that you have to click on the app launcher and here search and select reports so right now we are in the reports tab and to create a new report we have to first click on this new report button so in this step we have to select the category and the report type for the report that we are going to create so we are going to create report on the lead conversion so we will select the category as leads and uh, in the report type we will select the option leads with converted lead information and after selecting the category and the report type click on the button start report so now we can see the header columns on the report table but there as of now there are no such records and to generate the records on the report table we have to apply the filters so to apply the filters go to the filters tab and here i will add a new filter for that click on this add filter search bar and for that i will select the field converted so the field is going to be the converted and the value of that converted field is going to be the true and after selecting the field and the value click on this apply button and in the show me field i will select my leads and in the last activity i will select the whole range and after selecting the range of the records that you want to display in your report click on the apply button and now you can see the records are generated on the report table and uh, and in the outline tab go to this column section and from here you can add or remove the columns from your report table for example you don't want this opportunity amount column to be in the report table then you can simply remove it from this cross icon and you can see this column is removed so in the created date column we, we will see the date when the lead was created and in the converted date column we can see when the when the lead was converted so you can also arrange the columns so i will drag it and drop it near the created date so you can see uh, the date on which the lead was converted and in the column lead status you can see the status of all leads will be converted because this was the filter that we have applied that we will only view the converted leads so as of now our report is completed and to save and run this report click on the button save and run and here we have to enter the name of the report so i will name it as a lead conversion in previous quarter and the report unique name will be autofilled as we click on it 
and you can also write the report description and in the folder you have to select the folder in which you want to save your report so as of now i will select the public folder so that this report will be accessible to all the users in the org so for that i will select the option public reports and then click on select folder and after entering the name description and selecting the folder you have to click on the save button so as we can see the report is saved in the selected folder and it will run in the next window where you can see the records of the lead conversion so this is how we can create a lead conversion report in salesforce and the steps are going to be the same if you are creating this report in the classic edition so the second report we are going to see right now is the lead conversion rate report so how we will create it let's see so for that we will again navigate to the reports tab so from here i will again click on the reports tab and here we have to follow the same procedure like here we have to click the new report button and uh, in the category we have to select the same category like we have selected in previous reports so this category for this report is also going to be the leads and uh, this report is also related to the lead conversion so we will select the report type as leads with converted lead information and after selecting the category and the report type we will click on the start report button and here you can see again we don't see any records on the report table so again we need to apply some filters so this time we don't need to apply that filter that we applied in the last report that is uh, include the converted reports because if you will include all the converted leads it will give you the lead conversion rate as a hundred percent but we want to analyze all the leads that are there means the converted and the non-converted leads then only we will get the conversion rate of the leads so the filters i am going to add here is the last activity to include the records i will set the range as all time and then click on the apply button so now you can see the records are generated on the report table and the only filter that i am going to apply here is not a filter but a grouping so for that i will go to this outline tab and in the group rows i will group all the records from the field lead owner so for that i will go to the section groups and here select lead owner so as of now the records are being grouped according to the lead owners so as of now i am the only user in this uh, developer version so it is showing only my records and the reason for what we have added grouping is that we have to add a summary level formula in this report to, that will calculate the lead conversion rate so without adding grouping we can't add a summary level formula so after grouping we will go back to the column section and here click on the drop down of columns and select add summary formula so here in edit summary level formula column window we have to define the formula that will calculate the lead conversion rate so for that first we have to enter the column name so for that first you have to enter the column name so i have entered the column name as lead conversion rate and after this you can also enter the description and the formula output type we will select the percent because this is what we are going to calculate lead conversion rate and the conversion rate will be always displayed in the percentage form so we will select the option uh, percent and the decimal points here i will select zero and in the formula section and in the formula text area i will enter the formula that will calculate the lead conversion rate so in the formula text area i have entered the formula that will calculate the lead conversion rate so here the formula shows that row count slash parent group value and row so now in the text area of the formula i have entered the formula that will calculate the lead conversion rate so here the parent group value row count grand summary returns the total number of records across the all groups in the report and by dividing the number of records in the current group by the grand total this formula will provide a clear view of how each group size compares to the overall data set so after entering the formula click on the apply button so here it is giving us an warning that you must select a grouping context to use any report summary function so for that we will click on the selected groups and here we will select lead owner and then click on the apply button so now you can see at the right hand corner this lead conversion rate column is there and it is showing us the percentage of and it is showing us the percentage of the converted leads so by grouping the records according to the lead owner it was showing us the 100% so i have changed the grouping as lead source 
I can show you like this. And in the summary level formula also, I have changed the row group as lead source instead of lead owner. And so in the formula column lead conversion, we can see the conversion rate of leads according to the lead source that are grouped in. So this is how we can create a conversion rate report on leads in Salesforce Lightning. So this was all about lead conversion report in Salesforce. And I hope this video was helpful for you. And if you have any questions, then you can drop those questions in the comments below. And don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more Salesforce tips and tutorials. And thank you for giving your time and watching this video till last. See you in the next one. Till then, goodbye.